Hey, what's going on guys? Super Mellow Man Gaming back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a simple Windows tutorial. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention is that I miss doing tutorials. Uh, it's kind of something I think I want to start bringing back to this channel, hopefully. So we're going to start out with a simple Windows tutorial while I kind of figure out where I want to hit tutorials at. Uh, since I don't play certain games anymore, and since I'm going to start playing certain games, I might bring in some more gaming tutorials. After all, this is a gaming channel. But uh, as of now, we're just going to do Windows tutorials and see where this takes us. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your background wallpaper on Windows. Uh, this works on Windows 10. It should work on older versions as well. But this uh, tutorial is specifically meant for Windows 10. So um, first off, you need to find a picture. Um, now, personally, I don't really like this image I have right here. I've wanted to change this for quite some time now. So... Um, you know, there's many places you can find pictures uh, that you might want um, to be your wallpaper or whatever. Uh, for me, I just went on Google and um, I just looked up cool backgrounds. You can really look up whatever you want to have a background of, you know, it could be anything. Um, this one specifically, I kind of like because my favorite color is blue and I found this one kind of cool. So, um, pretty much you just need to find a picture that will work um, any of these will really work um, so whatever really you want to have as your background go ahead and select that uh, and then the one thing you need to do is you need to right click on it and then you need to save image as and that will bring you to a certain page um, oops did not mean to do that that will bring you to a certain page like here where you should have your picture it might tell you like uh, what kind of file do you want it to be saved as that is kind of important depending on you know what kind of file it is some files will work some files won't if it has an option that says all files I would select that one because that means that all picture files will be applied to that one image and that means you could pretty much do anything you want with that image since it has all files on it so this one in particular does some files probably won't let you do that but uh, maybe a PDF or a PDN uh, or PNG I meant, my bad. Um, as many files as you can really get to be compatible with Windows is what you really want. So that's why uh, selecting all files is your best option. Uh, so this is the image, um, as you can see right here. I just right click, save image as, and blah blah blah. You might need to rename it. I just used that one creative name called unnamed because, you know, I don't really have any pictures on here. So, um, Okay, it's right here. It's in my pictures folder. That's probably where you'll find it. And then you're going to right click on your desktop and you're going to go ahead and hit the personalize, uh, which is the last option. I, again, I don't know what it's going to be on a different Windows, um, Windows 7, Windows 8. If you guys still use that, I don't know exactly what you're going to hit. I think on Windows 8, it should be something similar. On Windows 7, I'm not too sure. But uh, on Windows 10, though, it's personalized. So hit that. And it will open this. And it brings you right where you need to go, the background. So, uh, you know, there's a bunch of images. I think these are all Windows images, and that's kind of what I've been using since I restarted my computer, uh, or factory reset my computer. And personally, I don't like the images. I mean, they're cool and all, but they're just not something that really fits my style. So we're going to go ahead and hit Browse, and that should actually take you right to your Pictures folder, right where you need to go, and then select the one that you would like to use. Uh, I'm going to hit Choose Picture and boom now depending on what you have it may or may not be the best quality in this case it could be better so I might actually change it to something else but I'm just using this as an example and boom now you have a uh, background picture for your uh, wallpaper desktop on Windows um, so that's pretty much it it's very simple uh, and you can do it like I said with any picture you want anything you find off the internet uh, you know, it's not like you're selling it or anything, so you can, you know, pretty much do whatever you want. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's basically it, guys. If you guys want any tutorials or anything uh, Windows-related, uh, that's all I'm going to do for now while I'm figuring things out. Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll happily get to your comment and hopefully make a tutorial on that as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on another video later.